Oh my god, the memes. Oh, the memes. Oh my god, it's worth it. Let's go. Come on, Queen 4. Do a Helmuth and win it. <laughs> Queen of a 4, one time. I uh, don't worry, fifth aid. I know it's sort of our aces again. Come on, let's just get it all in and win. All right, I'm gonna run things once. I ran it fucking twice last night. I played 200 last night on off stream, and fucking got it in against a whale. Jacks versus nines. We run it twice. Nine on the nine on the first board. Nine on the second board. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, son? Um, here I think we're gonna bat with the ace nine. Could also check call or check raise. Jacks obviously not a good turn. Gonna bet a third with range on the left. Don't think he's gonna have many jack X here. I think I'm gonna go big with this hand. Uh, it's one of our strongest um, pair hands. Uh, jack 10 is good. Uh, not the best run out, but not, not the worst. He's gonna have some king jack, king 10s. And he's just an absolute fucking joke of a human being. How do you- how do you call? How the fuck do you call on that flop and then drill a set and then- What on earth, man? The thing is, it's kind of not always how it works like that, Lamas man, like... Because people- If anything, it would be better to- to jam wider because people don't defend as much. I don't know. A really weird turn here. Yeah, he gets to lead this. I think this hand always wants to raise. I actually want to know, like, because I don't know how often we raise here, but we're going to want some bluffs. And so we're going to have to have some value, right? Ginger's probably sat there like, what do you mean raise? I'm going to check this later, see how often we want to raise. Yo, hey, Manya with the raid. What's going on? God, that's so loud in my ears. Hey, Manny, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, boys and girls. Uh, this is a really annoying river. I still think betting small here. So we can have some flushes, but I don't know how, how many, to be honest. Do I? Can I? Do I? Yeah, I think I have to bet with Ace now. Because he's going to have some, like, 8 nines, some, like, 10 nines, suitors, Jack nines. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, guys. We are playing Russian Cash. We are thinly value betting Ace 9 suited. Is he ever going to bluff jam anything? Like, what wants to bluff jam here? Okay, sweet. Uh, if anyone knows what he had, let me know. Uh, going to three bet his jack suited. Going to open king queen. Honestly, with the amount of, like, mistakes you see players make, it's so annoying that I just never fucking win. I mean, no, it's not. It's, it's reasonable. It's poker. It's a game of high variance. Hey, right, I'm never going to juice a jackpot. I don't run that good, bro. Uh, I've extended the delay slightly as well, so... But I could still theoretically get sniped, I think, if people took the piss. Uh, is everyone just taking a shit here, or like... Get snap called here. Against a fun player, we're just gonna bat and get it in, I guess. Um... Yeah, it's a kinda... I mean, we could check... Oh, I'm going to mix. I don't know what to do. I'm going to check. That is the nuts on the river. Allows some blossom like Queen Jack, King Queen type hands as well when it breaks. So, If you could have, I don't know, just a flush. King Queen of clubs. That'd be nice. Snap fold means we got a bluff out of him. So kind of got to be checked. Maybe he'd have hearts as well that might call the turn. Ah, oh, shit. This guy was disconnected and I just checked. What the fuck, Mark? Pay attention. That is literally setting money on fire. It's like, hey, I don't want this money. I kind of want to just go all in with Ace King. I'm just going to go all in with Ace King. Because I think what's going to happen a lot is I'm going to make it like 15. He's going to call and it's going to go call, call. I'm just going to do this. If they fold, I pick up 10 big blinds. Charge me. Not what we should do, but... If you got a problem with it, send out the manager. Splash pot, splash pot, splash pot. Why in the big blind again? Give me fucking aces, son. Give me some, give me some juicy. Queen four. Well, we could do it for the memes. For the memes. Do I do it? Ah, shit. I'm not calling two Orleans. But if you don't. 
Oh my god, the memes. Oh, the memes. Oh my god, it's worth it. Let's go. Come on, Queen 4. Do a Helmuth and win it. <laughs> Queen of a 4, one time. <gasps> no, what do you mean, runner, runner? Right, let, t turn me equity, please. No, what do you mean, drawing dead? What do you mean, drawing dead? That would have been so fucking funny, man. Ah, oh, I can't help myself. What do you mean, queen? That's no fucking good. Wait, I don't win a side, do I? Sub Zero had a uh, had um. I <laughs> win three point two big, three point six big blinds. Yeah, cheers, Phil. Thanks, buddy. Do not queen four. Do not start queen fouring. Uh, I am gonna raise this just because I've seen a four there. <laughs> Can I call her with king queen? Uh, I got a bit small here. I still think we're betting for value against a fun player. I really just want to call. Like, I don't think he's going to have much value here. I should bluff that river as well, by the way. Oh my god, I've got fucking four high. So I'm just trying to fold out any like 10 jack suiteds and shit. With him snap calling the flop, I don't think he's going to have that much um, that much for value. I did a really weird thing where I, I, I min raised 5, 6 suited in a similar spot. The thing is, if he has ace high now, he might call. Yes, you fucking love to see it. I was calling him down on any brick river, but like... All right, thank fuck for that. That would have been so funny. That queen four man just one time. Like one time for the fucking memes. <sighs> Oh dear. Uh, this guy's got 0% V pep and I'm 3 batting him under the, versus under the gun. That's a really reasonable flop. I'm gonna bet big here because his range is either gonna like smack this board or just completely whiff this board. So he can have sets, he can have like ace king, he can have king queen. And then he's going to have like 9s, 8s, 7s, shit like that, that are just going to completely whiff. I'm going to roll for whether I want to bet or check. I really don't like this SPR, actually, but... I'm still just going to do this and then, and then jam river. We need to... We don't want to see a fucking king, jack, 10, 8... Ace, queen, 9. I mean, that's so bad, bro. I'm still going to jam because I think that 10s and jacks probably jams turn. So we're looking at one combo of king jack. King 10 suited, I don't think he should have. But if he has it, it's one combo. Uh, he still has ace king and he can still have queens here that's put in a spot. So I think we have to jam in case he checks back something. But if you could just have like king queen of hearts or um, ace king, that'd be okay. Snap falls. That's weird. Um, kings, I'm going to mix on this board. Uh, we roll a deuce, so I am going to check back. Uh, ace jack, I can't bet for value. I bet he's king here for value. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> what do you mean lead, you weirdo? Is this a thing? Ah, that's a fucking shit turn, isn't it? Uh, so we check back. He can bluff hands like sixes and fives if he decides to lead those. Um, I am just not folding here. So if he has sixes, fives, stuff like that, if he does lead those, then he's going to want to overbet here. Um, so yeah, I think calling kings because we don't have 10x here ever. So nice. We beat Jack Kite. All right, this guy, I'm going to call against him because he goes a bit nuts and shit. And I like this hand to call, but like we can fold this for sure versus button three bet. Wish I fucking had of. Gonna roll for this. We roll high enough to three bet, I think. I like three bet in these hands quite often. Well, Tony, thank you very much for the seven months, man. I appreciate you. Uh, I rolled a 96. So basically, if this breaks out, I'm all in. I don't even want a nine. This, I, I, I don't know if we should. If we should. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to bet bet jam on non diamonds here. Only because I rolled mega, mega high. So. Yep. We will be all in should it brick here. How about the four of hearts, dealer? How about the four of fucking hearts? Ah, uh, the two of hearts. All right, so we unblock a lot of things that want to call, call, fold, king, queen, like ace, queen, suited, like diamonds, stuff like that. We still want to jam aces here. We still want to jam tens. We want to jam 
Uh, 10 jack suited uh, when we three bet that. So, um, yeah, unblocking all the bluffs. This is just a fantastic uh, hand to go all in with. Um, I want to see if this is GTO approved. I would imagine it would be. And we get it fucking through. You love to see it. Eight high, like a boss. Aces. We've had aces quite a few times today, to be fair. You could just fucking get it in against kings and win. That'd be swell. An anonymous chair with the bitties. Thank you very much. Uh, good luck in flop here. They're going to have some uh, sets here. But they're going to have like jacks, nines, eights, sevens. Uh, yeah, we're just going to... I could even click this as well. Uh, we'll just call. And they're going to have sets, but... Like, when they jam, they shouldn't have sets that often. Oh my god, hold. Don't you dare be a fucking queen on the river, son. Because that would be so disgusting. Nice. We flap a flush against a pink tag. Give us a six of uh, six of spades. Ooh, that could be a really good turn, actually. Yeah, we'll just bet pot. And um, we'll over bet river. And hopefully he has a king. Sweet. Oh my god. We won't bluff that guy. We punted off with queen four off. <laughs> Speak of the devil. We did a nice little bluff though. And we just, uh, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Jack says, hope you had a good stream, buddy. Make sure you go check him out. I saw you were playing. Were you playing on stars? I saw it was 200 zoom. Uh, here I'm going to call against a fun player and have a hard time on this board. How about the seven of diamonds dealer? Just fucking do it. After call here, because we can have the best hand. I actually wonder if jamming is a thing. He, he's probably not supposed to bet this size. But we can actually get it in against worse hands here. This, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go all in here. Because he could have hands that we, like, flip against him. We have really bad clarity on river. And if he just folds something like ace-king, we are absolutely okay with that. I think uh, going all in here is, is actually okay. It's a bit annoying that he's gone so big. But it's obviously super high variance. We're getting called most of the time. But we're always drawing live. Uh, so 6, 7, or spade, please, dealer. Come on. Come on, let's see if we can get the run good. 6, 7, or spades. How about the 6 of hearts? <laughs> Easy game. Let's get it in bad, guys. This is how, this is how you win at poker. The three battle boys spear us with the 10 jack suited. Get the old you suck. We're going to apologize. If you can't fall back now, you can't say you suck and then fall back. Oh my god. I don't know what to do on this board. Fuck me. You shouldn't have Queen Tan. Go on, give us give a royal. Give us a royal. Like, do I ever want to raise this? Like, probably not, right? Like, again, are we going to just check jam here? Like, I guess not. I guess we'll call. Um, I think just check in here. I don't really know what he's going to have in the way of bluffs, like ace queen. You can only really have like king queen for value. I don't think I want to check jam this hand, although I don't think it's completely out of the question. We're looking at specifically ace queen. I don't know if he bets on the flop. And what's, what can he have for value with this size? It's basically only king-queen though, right? King-jack just bets turn. I don't think ace-jack ever bets turn. Nines is just going to bet turn. We're looking at specifically king-queen suited. I can't think of anything else he could have. There's only three combos. All right, show me, uh, show me, show me, show me ace-ten suited. Or ace-queen. Unlucky son. <laughs> uh, we will ISO our friend here. And we're going to bet small here. 
By friend, I mean fishy friend. Uh, not really thrilled about multi-barreling a fun player, but when he has hands like fours, fives, sixes, seven, eight, stuff like that, I think he's going to fold in. We pick up equity. He uh, is a little bit sketch, but I don't think I want to fold. <laughs> Give us the queen of hearts, son. Give us the queen of hearts. Like his size, we get to realize nicely. I'm going to make a bit of a fishy peel here with a seven suited. Hmm. Oh, hello, 773. Do I still want to call here versus this size? I guess a queen we could be dead on. I mean, we could be dead against, like, uh... I think I'm going to fold. That's a really annoying turn and annoying size. And if he has... Yeah, if he could have jacks here as well, which probably wants to bat that jam. So I think we have to fold turn, which is really sure. Different if the aces are a diamond, because obviously we have royal outs and we also have the nut drawer as well. So, yeah, it's kind of a really, really bad turn off suit ace. So I don't want to fall back call this off, but I think I can fall back fold in position if I roll really high. I don't. It dickhead. I guess we have to call though. Don't mind that size. Okay. Having the um having the king of diamonds is super cool here. We need to get caught by worse, so we're gonna bet this size. And if he jams, we throw up. There was one combo of ace jack and three of jacks that we lose to, but other than that, try GG wizard, but it must be faulty because it kept saying I was wrong. <laughs> Like, uh, Trent posted in the Discord, uh, handing punts, and Range Jam was like, no, I think this is pretty good. I was like, that's when you know you're done fucked up, right? All right, this guy's playing 17, 14, 4. We have jacks. I kind of want to fold pre. Well, I'm probably just going to call, call, fold, or call. I might even fold turn, no cap, against someone that looks like they're egregiously tight. I will take the jack of hearts, though, dealer. No, 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 no. You, you misheard. I said jack of hearts. So it's a card where people are likely to continue bluffing. I will have queens here at full frequency. Um, I really should start having aces more because... Mainly just because I get to just, like, realize equity and I get to see what they have. So, like, if they just triple it off with nonsense, I get to see that. But dude's playing fucking 17, 14, 4 of 200 hands, bro. Like, good luck when he has bluffs. We should call turn, though, theoretically, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, I guess big bats here. Definitely not an overbat spot, but I want to put a lot more money in with this hand, so we're going to bat basically pots. And on the three, because you can't have three X of hearts here, so I think we're going to overbat. Um, bluffs are going to be hands like eight, nine of spades, eight, nine, eight, nine suited, not of hearts. Yeah, we're going to do this. I don't think I want to jam. I think this is a good bet. What is the app you're using for RNG? It's the same one that I'm using to tile tables. It's called Jerogen. Exclamation point Jerogen, if one of the mods knows how to spell it. It's a really cool thing. And when you're multi sighting, you can like switch tables like super easy. It's such a fucking good piece of software and it's free. So, exclamation point Jerogen, guys, go check it out. Um, where's the thing? And it comes with a randomizer as well. Right here, I'm probably going to fall back fold. Uh, this guy's just getting it in. I guess we're calling. Um, we'll do this. What do you mean, ace king? Run it once. I got a good feeling about this. Uh, hello. <laughs> Told you. Told you. Uh, I guess we'll do this, but I don't really like it. I don't... If we had... Okay, if we had ace-king and we didn't have a spade or a diamond, we would just probably fucking go all in. Blocking ace-jack suited and king-jack suited, but we don't block that fully. I could bet the turn, but I'm not gonna. Uh, here we're gonna roll. That's high enough for a three bet, sir. They get to do I really wish I could use it. Is there any way of like 
Can I do anything more with the smart hood? I, I really want to see fucking fall to four, but I know it's like not going to be in many hands, but is this guy okay? Uh, we can chop against like Ace King, uh, I guess only one combo. Does Ace King off call versus quarter in position? So I would check hands like tens. I would check hands like queens, which I'm going to fall back quite often when we're a bit deeper. So I'm going to fall back tens quite often. And so we have hands like tens. I occasionally have aces, but unlikely. Do we chop? Oh my God. What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, I mean, that guy's just obviously a fucking absolute balloon. I mean, do I even want to fall back here? I guess in position we do, and we'll just go big, right? Because he's going to call with all those pairs that we do really well against. And if he's if he's three bet flatting threes, I mean to be fair, once you've three bet threes, you should probably call right versus the four bet. But you don't three bet it in that position. Uh, this dude min raises, so I'm tempted to take his reg tag off him. <laughs> yeah, we be blasting, we be fucking blasting on this board, son. We got all kinds of two pairs. We got straights. We got sets. Um, I'm actually gonna over bet this turn. So I think that when I've seen it, even though it's a bad turn for us, it means that we're not doing a lot of betting. So when we when we bet, we're betting such strong, such a strong range, and then such strong bluffs that we get to just fucking do this. I might have to give up on River though. I guess he's got a lot of like Ace Ten of Diamonds and shit. I mean, that's just the the not worst card ever. So if he has a king, he's just not folding unless I go all in and I'm not willing to go all in with this exact combo. So he can have some 5x as well, 5x of hearts. It's a bit of a shame when he has, like, I wonder if he'd ever even check call like ace jack of diamonds on this river here. Um, have eight nine of diamonds <laughs> one time. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of annoying, but like it wouldn't surprise me if he calls that hand on the river because it's actually not the, the, the most unreasonable call down. That's such a really shit run out as well, where I get to bluff on so many rivers, bro. I get to bluff on a three, an eight, a nine, a six, obviously a heart. I, I, I have the best hand. Like, even a deuce I'll bluff on. So, before we go, what we're going to do is look at some spots in GTO Wizards. So, I like to do this at the end of sessions. I do it all the fucking time. The reason being is we can just look at some spots that we played and see if it's GTO to do what we did or if we fucking butchered it like an absolute spanner. Move the little randomizer. So spots we wanted to have a look at were. So this was a hand this was the hand against Ginge, actually. Yeah, this is a hand against Ginge. So we have Ace Nine of Clubs here, big blinds, not really doing any leading. We've got Ace Nine of Clubs, which is a pure bet here. So it has some over bets, has some big bets. And has half part a little bit. I think we went for two thirds uh, for about three quarters. And yeah, fours and fives are basically always raising. Nines about half the time. But I think you'll see in game people just pure raise this. And villain calls. The turn comes a nine of diamonds. And I guess villain wants to have some leads, which Ginge did. Ginge led for a, about a third. So it only wants to lead like 20% here, which is skewer results a bit, because obviously the bigger that villain would lead, the less raising will do. But yeah, so it wants to pure raise uh, between 50% and 100%. It's actually mixing. Either, obviously, there's only two combos. You know, hands like 8-9, we're calling more often to keep bluffs in. But having the not 9 here, I mean, yeah. Um, I want to see strategy in EV. So yeah, the EV of raising is considerably higher. And he led sixes, I believe. Somebody said that he led sixes, which, yeah, it's going to lead sometimes, right? Because it's leading basically a lot of range versus a small raise. Sixes is always calling versus a bigger raise. Sixes is starting to fold, but it's calling mainly, basically always calling with a diamond, apart from when it has a six of spades. It doesn't want the six of spades. Villain calls. The river came some sort of shitty diamond, right? It's like the jack of diamonds. He'll probably have leads again. Yeah, he has some leads, but um, we went for a small bet here, which it's actually not doing. It's actually pure checking, ace nine suited. So I guess because of what you're going to get called by, it's just going polar here. So it's only, it's only having big bets or checks. So it's not going for the small size there at all, which is pretty interesting. So that was an interesting hand anyway. That was an interesting hand. Oh, our good bluff. We did a nice little bluff before. So we three bet versus cutoff. So the cutoff opens. We roll really high and three bet seven, eight of spades. Um, yep, we rolled high, which is why we did it. Maybe we do a lot of checking on this board. I don't know. 
Hey, seven eight spades. It is betting sometimes. I think I, I I think I rolled high again. I think I didn't want to pure bet this, but then when I bet, yeah yeah, because I rolled like a ninety seven. I remember because I was like shit. I'm all in. <laughs> like so, um, it's got small bets and half part. I think I went about. We were a little bit deeper. That 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 was that was the problem. Um, but villain calls. Turn comes a five of spades. Actually has some all ins here. Um, it's betting though, it's going for 50% and it's basically betting pure with this hand. Villain calls and the river comes the two of hearts and there's no way we're not all in. We fucking love to see it. We are all in. We were all in for just under pot because we were deeper than 100 big blinds, but this is 61% pot. It was more like 90% pot. But we are all in with 7-8 suited because we are a fucking adult and villain folded. She's doing 32% of the time. And I think this is a really good, this is a really good example to show blockers and like anti-blockers, like unblockers, where we unblock all of the king queen suiteds, ace queen suiteds, um, ace six of diamonds, ace five of diamonds, like, you know, stuff like that. Uh, even like six, seven of diamonds, which actually wants to call sometimes, which is wild. But yeah, I think it's a really, really good uh, hand to showcase like what makes a good bluff on, on flop and turn as well. And then the river, right? So like flop and turn, we'd probably rather have king, queen of diamonds, but then on the river, we really don't want to have king, queen of diamonds. We want villain to have king, queen of diamonds in those kind of spots. Okay, so we open hijack and the small blind three bets here and we've got six, seven suited. So I know we're not defending pure, but it's about half the time. We defend. This is the one where I jammed, if you remember, and we got lucky. I forgot that we got lucky in hand, actually. So just stop fucking moaning. Um, villain bet about half part, and we called with six, seven of spades. Yep, no raising there at all. Then comes a jack of spades. Villain bet's big here. It doesn't really have big bets. It's mainly going half part, but against half part, do we jam ever? <clears throat> No, just pure calls here. So I decided to jam because our hand has bad clarity on river. And I thought that like jamming, sometimes we get like hands to fold, like ace, king and stuff like that. King, queen, like if he drills it in with king, queen suited, we're okay with it. The size was actually a bit bigger and it's starting to raise here, like the tiniest fucking bit with a bigger size because we're getting a, yeah, that, the EV difference now is actually very, a lot closer than if you'd have bet like half pot. Like versus half pot, we just get a really good price. Like there's four big blind of difference in EV, whereas like versus a bigger size is less. Uh, the other one was small blind versus button. This was versus Spiros, where we had 10 jack of diamonds. Um, we're pure calling here. There's just, there's no shot. We're doing anything else. And we flopped a straight flush drop. Decided to check. Ten jack suited. Diamonds, it's indifferent. Our hand's so good, we can do what we want. We decided to check. And I think small bets a lot or half pot. Um, ace queen off suit, which, yep, he had the he had the queen of diamonds, I remember. Uh, let's say about half pot. We just called with the ten jack suited. It can raise here because, again, our hand's so good, we don't mind just getting it in. Term is a total brick. We check. Ace Queen is primarily betting again with the Queen of with the Queen of Diamonds. We uh, so in these positions he has he has Queen Ten suited almost full frequency. At five hundred rake, I know at fifty rake it actually wants to four bet this hand sometimes, but he did check, and then the river comes something bricky. It was like, was it an eight? I think it was like an eight and offsuit eight. Some 10% bets, but I don't really incorporate 10% bets, so we just check. Villain is, once he checks, he's mainly checking back with Ace-Queen, occasionally going all in um, for 151% pot. Now, look at how much he's checking here, right? He's checking 92%. My problem was that, like, I couldn't really see any hands that wanted to take this line that didn't want to continue turn. Like, I don't think he checks the turn with, like, deuces or like nines or jacks or whatever so it's like it's only king queen suited which to be fair does want to jam when he has it but he's mainly better in the term of king queen suited apparently deuces here but i'm not going to see deuces all that often so he has so little it wants to actually bet here at all that it's just like 10 jack becomes a call i guess it probably calls 10 jack anyway versus the jam yeah basically basically always calls oh you guys can't see actually at the bottom sorry it's cut off i didn't realize but yeah, 10 Jack of Diamonds are actually, um, actually, I mean, yeah, it wants to call most of the time, which is pretty interesting.